Kobe Maino knew that the next big task for him was to score for Manchester United at Old Trafford, and he did it. Now, what is the next step for him? Welcome to the United Hot Sport. My name is Webb, and here is all Manchester United news today. But the focus on this video is mostly on our young lad who is trending everywhere, Kobe Maino and his performance. That has got me thinking. Kobe should be playing our number 10 position. That, for me, is what I'm here to emphasize. Now, we know that the goals he has scored, the important goals this boy has scored, have come from positions that are mostly expected of a number 10. It is not so often that you see a player who is running from deep to be in the position that Kobe Maino found himself when he was scoring both against, uh, uh, against I think it was uh, Wolves, the win against Wolves, and the beauty he scored arguably the goal of the season against Liverpool. Now, he said in an interview just recently that uh, his next task after scoring against he recalled his first goal in the senior team in the FA Cup. Uh, he said the next task was now to score again at the Old Trafford. And he had done it before against another master side team in Everton, but it was in the Youth Cup as United won it in 2022. Imagine, 2022 was just a kid playing in the Youth Cup. But uh, he and he was winning that title by the way. Now he scores his first uh, home goal in an emphatic manner. It was an important game, of course. It's sad that we didn't win it. It could have been a different story if we had won it. He was eventually voted the man of the match for Manchester United. But I actually think uh, even Onana could have had a case for himself. But for me, here's the thing: with the games we are left with and how we are struggling to score goals, I honestly think you want to have all your players who have got the highest possibility to give you a goal, playing closer to the opposition's goal. And honestly, I think now more than ever, Eric Ten Hag has got to make the decision, adjust something about how we play, and make Kobe play closer to the opposition goal than he does to our goal as a number 10. He has played it before. He has played actually number 10 longer in his career in football as he's growing as a young player. He has played number 10 longer than he has played the number uh, 8 or 6 at times where he plays. Now I'm thinking, why don't we have Bruno drop back in the number 8, play next to Casemiro, and Kobe plays the number 10? Why? I think, whereas Bruno scores goals himself, he scored his, I think, 50th goal in, the, in that uh, game against Liverpool, I think in, in the case where we are, uh, Kobe Maino has got a better chance to give us something close to a goal at a higher rate than Bruno. Because Kobe Maino is a better ball user, he more players with the ball. Imagine he does that close to the opposition box. We see clearly what he can do, what he did against Wolves, how, what he did against Liverpool. And he can do a lot of this. He keeps doing these things, but most times either too deep or in positions where he's expected to pass and not try to go for goal himself. Now that we are desperate for goals, my thinking is Kobe should be playing a number 10 role. Bruno is good enough to play from the deeper positions. He can also contribute to the, to the goals from deeper positions. But let Kobe be more committed to supporting the attack, to supporting Hoyland. I believe Kobe can assist Rasmus Hoyland can, can, by either forcing a rebound, take a shot, rebounded, Hoyland is there to tap it in. Or he can actually shoot at goal himself. So he gives us a different dimension and more regular. Even Bruno can give us that dimension. But Bruno's is not as regular as Kobe, and also Bruno's is not as precise as Kobe's. That is why, for me, the next step for Kobe Maino should be to be tried out as a number 10. And we need it now more than ever. We need that to be happening now more than ever. Uh, than ever. For me, that's very important. That's what I believe we should be doing now. But Eric Ten Hag sticking to his same system that has struggled to give us goals, I don't think will take us anywhere. If you've got a player who has got goals in him, remember the only players now we rely on for goals are Hoyland, who is struggling, obviously, and Ganacho. But Ganacho is also beginning to look tired. Even Eric Ten Hag admitted himself he did not have his, his best game in a United jersey. That's why he pulled him off. It was, not, it was not going well for him. Anthony is not going to give you goals. His goals are rare. Uh, Marcus Rashford is a whole different thing. He looked good. He had the right attitude, seemed to have the right attitude before getting injured. Now he's injured. Eric Ten Hag said he's not sure it's going to be a long term. He doesn't think it's going to be a long term injury. But even when he's there, we cannot rely a lot on Marcus Rashford. We want your reliable players, more so players who can use the ball, 
to be closer to the goal because our strategy as United now should be to outscore our opponents because the defense is disorganized. So if we don't make use of our Kobe Maino, who is our best chance to get goals, we are, we are going to struggle. If you use him defensively, then we are going to always be now the team trying to avoid conceding, but not the team trying to score more goals than the opponent. And I think that for me would be a wrong game plan. So I expect that is, uh, that is for me the first tactical change I would expect Eric Ten Hag to make to have Kobe. Because the other thing that Kobe does when you advance him and make him uh, a number 10 is he's a threat to any team now. He's the most talked about player. People are now convinced he must be on the plane to, to the Euros. I'm surprised that they are seeing it now. For some of us, we saw it a long time ago. But this boy is the talk of town. So he's a threat to any team. So United goes to play any game, whichever team we face. When Bruno is closer to your goal, you will rather when Kobe is closer to your goal, you will be worried. So you won't have a lot of time to spend in our box. Because, and for me, that's the best way to ease the pressure on the Kambolas, who are who had, by the way, decent game by his standards. I thought Kambola had a, a good full debut for himself against Liverpool, thrown in the deep end, and honestly, he grew into the game and was getting a little better but with every minute, with every passing minute. But now, to him, you need him to be protected, and the best way to defend and protect your goal is to keep attacking. The best way for United to attack is you have your best ball users threatening the opposition box. Our best ball user by far at Man United right now, probably the best in the Premier League or one of the best in the Premier League, is Kobe Maino. What is he doing playing deep? He should be more advanced as one of the attackers. He should be more in the, in the, in the final third. He should be creating things in the final third, creating goal-scoring opportunities, winning free kicks because he's the one player who can get the ball, collect the opposition, bring three, four, five players and beat them off single-handedly. Do you need that player in, to do that stuff in your box? Or do you need him in the opposition box? Let the Brunos, the Casemiros, the Scott McTominis, let them do the donkey defensive work, but let Scott be released, let, 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 let uh, Kobe rather be released to add to our attack. For me, that's the plea I would have for Eric Ten Hag in the next remaining games. When that happens, here are the advantages. One, he will certainly score more goals. Two, he will create more goals. Three, he will ease the pressure. It will ease the pressure on Manchester United because the teams will be now focused on trying to stop him. And it takes more than one or two players to stop him. Clearly, even five fail. If you ask Wolves, ask this Liverpool, same Liverpool team, how many players were ahead of him. So he will keep players at bay. So he eases the pressure on the Kambolas and the Harry Maguires. And that way, we will not experience or feel a lot of the pain and, uh, and, and, and the, 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 the gap left by the, the, the Sandro Martinez, the Varens, and all these injured centre-backs. That's it, tactically. For me, that's what I, all I expect Eric Ten Hag to see. I don't know what you think, but you can give me your opinion. Bruno can't be relegated to the number eight. Kobe should be our number ten. He has also played as a striker before. He revealed it himself. He has played as a number nine before. But in this case, Hoyland being the number nine, trust me, I don't expect for us to have a game of 90 minutes with Kobe playing as a disciplined number 10 and Hoyland doesn't score or Kobe himself doesn't score for 90 minutes. I don't see that happening. Not with his skills because his levels are way ahead of everyone else. So the closer he is to the opposition goal, he's going to always find the space, the pinhole, to either take a shot and a good goalkeeper will deflect it and Hoyland will be in time to for the tap in or Ganacho or whoever. That is exactly for me what we need to be doing. For me, that should be the game plan Manchester United should have going forward for the next of the remaining games because what we need are goals. Goals scored, not goals not conceded. We need to score. We shall keep conceding. That's a given. We've admitted, we've accepted that we shall keep leaking goals. But we need to score more than the opposition. How do we do it? Have Kobe playing in a more advanced role. That's my honest opinion. You can tell me yours. My name is Webb. Subscribe to the United Hotspot. And of course, I will catch you later.